Yeah, you read the title to this video correctly. We have a lot of major stuff to talk about in this video. And I'm sure some of you, you know what's going on if you've been on Twitter or Instagram. But for the most part of you, including myself, you're probably shocked by this. Of all the great colleges, schools, and programs, and quarterback-friendly teams in the country you would think a player would go to, I'd say somewhere around 100 or less on that list would be Wisconsin. What's so ironic about this situation is that arguably one of the top transfer quarterbacks of all time, and also arguably a top three quarterback in our current class and current country, is going to Wisconsin. We got a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff, and I mean interesting stuff to get into in this video. I hope you guys are excited as me. As always, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you go down there, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, do all the nice stuff, and now without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into this video, real quick, we haven't done it in a while, but a couple of weeks ago I asked to see how many new subscribers we could gain from that video, and I'll tell you in a future one, and we gained over two to 300. I try to do this every now and then because there is a lot of you watching that aren't subscribed, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it just really helps out the channel, and it helps me out, and it motivates me whenever we do gain new subscribers, because it shows me that you're enjoying the content. Let's do it again on this video, let's see how many new subscribers we could gain, and in the video tomorrow or the next day, I'll tell you. My apologies for the interruption, now let's get into the video. Oh man, oh man, where do I even begin? I think a good starting point and first things first is that this news was going on roughly four to five hours ago and I tried to hold off and wait and make a video until there was some more information. For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, the new rumor currently going on about Caleb Williams is that he's gonna transfer to not USC, which is the clear favorite, but instead, he's gonna go to Wisconsin. If you've been keeping up and following with the Kayla Williams rumors, you would know these Wisconsin rumors, they were going on a couple of weeks ago, but it appeared to die down. Okay, I'm going to break this down by you step by step into what's happened as to why people think he's going to Wisconsin. Before I even say it, I have to emphasize this, please pay attention because if you don't, you're gonna get lost quickly. Around five to six hours ago, a source for LSU, Bill Embody, he changed his prediction and said Kayla Williams is going to Wisconsin instead of USC. Here's what he said word for word at 2.07 p.m. Not that anyone should really care, but very interesting turn here. Switch my pick to Wisconsin. Badgers hiring Bobby Ingram expected to turn things around for them crazy. Like many others, when you saw that, you're probably wondering who in the heck is Bobby Ingram and why does he matter in this situation? I'm just gonna read off this comment I saw on Instagram. It explains it the best. This person said, Bobby Ingram is the dad of Caleb's high school teammate, Dean Ingram, who plays at Wisconsin. I still bet he goes to USC, but this would definitely make sense. To go along with that, Gary Hamilton, who is also a sports recruiting analyst, he's predicted the exact same thing. I'm going to throw up this tweet on the screen right now. It's me, it's you, I think it was everybody. Everybody's saying it makes no sense, but at the same time, it's somewhat intriguing and interesting to talk about. I think we can agree on that. So in conclusion, I'm gonna to try to dumb it down the best way possible because I understand some of you still may be confused and I was confused for a while. Basically, to make a long story short, Wisconsin hired Bobby Ingram and Kayla Williams reportedly likes him so they think he'd go to Wisconsin to play for him. When I first heard about this I more than likely had this same reaction a lot of you had. I was saying this is ludicrous, it's stupid, why are we even talking about it? But then I sat back and I really took a look into things. Although at first I'm saying yo this is stupid and it makes zero sense whatever, you can kind of look at the details in the situation and say it does make a little sense. The biggest influence on most players and recruits, and especially Kayla Williams, is the coaching staff. He wants to play for a team and a coach he likes. With Caleb and his family being good friends with Bobby Ingram, it does make a little sense, so I can't act like it's completely ridiculous. However, for my Wisconsin fans, I wouldn't get my hopes up because here's my counter argument. Everyone's making this case an argument, and it's valid, but just give me a second, that Caleb Williams wants to play for Bobby Ingram because he likes him. To all the people saying that he'd go to Wisconsin because of only Bobby Ingram, did you forget about Lincoln Riley? What I'm about to say isn't a rumor, it's true because he did it. He went all the way from the East Coast to Oklahoma to play for solely Lincoln Riley, and that was the only reason. He didn't go to Oklahoma to see the great and big lights in the big city because it's not out there. He only went for Lincoln Riley. 
I'm not saying he's not going to go to Wisconsin. I'm saying calm down because Lincoln Riley and him are on great terms. That's why I also gave it some time to die down so I could sit back and look at the situation. Don't say it doesn't make sense for him to go to Wisconsin because no, it does make sense. If you think I'm wrong, I'll offer you this. If Caleb Williams is willing to go to USC, who was 5-7 and seven last year, or let me repeat, 5-7, and seven, I don't think he's too concerned with Wisconsin. What I really think is currently going on, you got everybody in the country wanting this to happen because it'd be the ultimate slap in the face to Lincoln Riley. Everybody in the country outside of USC fans and Lincoln Riley would love for Caleb to go to Wisconsin. Why? Because it creates more interest for the sport. And I gotta say this, it's kind of off topic. Well, not really, it goes hand in hand. Everybody gives the transfer portal so much backlash, but if we're being honest, it's the only thing keeping a lot of people interested in the sport. As an Alabama fan, my team's been in the championship year after year, and as a SEC fan, we're doing good, but I gotta be honest, I've been more entertained with the off the field stuff going on with the coaches and transfer portal than the actual games. It's kind of sad it's gotten to that point in college football, but hey, at least something's interesting. The other thing I want to talk about too is how legit is this source? I mean, apparently he's an LSU insider, but what really does he know about Kayla Williams and his family's thoughts? A lot of people are just agreeing with this situation because like I said, it's more of you want it to happen, you don't really think it's going to happen. I would say these two guys who have leaked this information are about as credible as your next door neighbor. They have absolutely no idea what Kayla Williams is going to do, they're not talking to him on a consistent basis. Anyways, getting a move on with this video, I did see some interesting stuff. Noah Rudd on Instagram said, Wisconsin is one Caleb Williams short of making the playoff. I would somewhat agree with that because the Big Ten, they're not this powerhouse. As long as you can beat Michigan or Ohio State, you got a good chance of getting in the playoff. And Wisconsin over the past 10 years, they've had a good and solid team. The only thing they've lacked is a quarterback like Kayla Williams who could take them to another level. Under that comment, Matt Gorby said, as an Ohio State fan, yes, that would be awesome to the Big Ten. And then last but not least, Alex Xavier said, if this happens, they'll be the second best Big Ten team. Going back to Matt's comment, that's what I'm talking about. This whole transfer portal stuff, you can say it's bad for the players, it's bad for college football, but I disagree with that 100%. If anything, it's making the sport even better. Is it good for players to transfer whenever they want? Not necessarily. It's not teaching them good morals because it's also telling them when they don't like something, they can just leave. But for viewers and fans, it's the best thing ever. It makes the offseason almost 10 times more interesting than it was without the transfer portal. Moving on to Alex's comment, it's not really saying Wisconsin's a great team. It's more of telling you that Caleb Williams is that type of player. I'm not saying Williams is literally a Michael Jordan. You could throw him on any team and they'd be a contender, but I almost am saying that. As long as you got a mediocre defense and somewhat a couple of weapons here and there, Caleb Williams is going to make some things happen. I've said it so many times on this channel, but I like to emphasize it because it's the cold hard truth. We live in an era of 2022. If you have a great quarterback, that is either going to make or break your season. Or let me go back on that. If you have a great one, it's going to make it. But if you have a bad quarterback, it's going to break your season. The quarterback is the captain of the ship and he's the captain of the team. If he's great, the team's going to be great. If he's bad, the team's going to be bad. I'm not saying that's going to happen 100 out of 100 times, but 95 out of 100 it is. For me, you know how I stand on it. I've said it from day one. I'm going to say it again. Kayla Williams is going to USC. I literally just thought of this. If he goes to Wisconsin, he's going to be a celebrity. He won't be able to go anywhere without security. On the other hand, if he goes to USC... Yeah, he'll still be a celebrity, but not as many people would care. You gotta think about it. Wisconsin, there's nobody famous. I mean, what famous person lives in Wisconsin? On a scale of 1 to 10, how much sense this move makes, I would say mm, about 25%. I don't like the move. It doesn't make too much sense to me outside of that coach that he likes going there. That's how I feel about it. There's one thing for sure. It's definitely interesting. Let me know your thoughts down below. But... With that being said, let's go wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you know the channel, what you doing? Join the family. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like for more. And as always, let's be great. I'm out, y'all. Peace.